Today we did everything in standing, challenging the body weight. So with the hands on the furniture, we started with the diagonal, pumping and walking in place. We went further from the furniture or the wall and we got closer. We went further and we pumped, pumped, pumped. Later on, we brought the knee higher as we bent on the other leg and we exhaled, we pulled on the rubber bands and we opened up the lower back. We also did it in where we had to shift the weight from side to side. One leg was in front, one leg was in the back. We lifted the heel, we bent the knee a little bit, we curled and opened up the lumbar area, we lifted the whole torso, we lengthened the leg and we lowered the heel behind us. The heel is right behind the toes. The hip is parallel to the furniture, to the wall. Lifting up the heel, into the hip, pulling up the rubber bands. Once I got into a full lift, I'm on the toes. I bend my knee. I curl the lumbar area even more. I lift up my chest. I straighten the leg and I pull the heel back behind me. With the hands on the knees, above the knees, we shifted the weight from leg to leg, exhaling while we are on the leg. And at this point, we worked with the weight not being too far forward where all the weight is on the knee but shifting and making sure that the toes are up and most of the weight is on the heel and from there inhale exhale rubber bands and lifting the toes when that became comfortable we started gently and softly lifting the foot off the floor Next, we brought our feet together. We bend both knees. We put the hand on the opposite thigh. We put the left hand on the left hip. And while pulling the rubber bands, bringing the belly button towards the spine, we rotated and looked up towards the ceiling. And then we did the same thing on the other side. I'll show it from the side. So the hip did not move back. It stayed stable and the knees are stable. We ended up in the way that we started and we actually went in a more detail where in this position one leg was in front one leg was in the back we lifted the heel we bend the knee a little bit we curled and opened up the lumbar area 
we lifted the whole torso, we lengthened the leg, and we lowered the heel behind us. The heel is right behind the toes, the hip is parallel to the furniture, to the wall, lifting up the heel, into the hip, pulling up the rubber bands. Once I got into a full lift, I'm almost on my, on, only on the toes, I bend my knee, I curl the lumbar area even more, I lift up my chest, I straighten the leg, and I pull the heel back behind me. That exercise was done in the beginning and at the end to see how much more details we could feel and pull in to make it a whole body experience.